guys welcome back to the channel take a do and uh, there i was going through some backup footage and in my backup footage i found a very very interesting uh, video which i had shot like two years before you might be wondering what's with the hat the hat is because i've got two very very bright lights and it becomes really problem for me to look into the camera with the lights on but i have invested on these lights finally and i was like okay i have to do something when i'm sitting at home uh, and everything was on a shutdown and i wanted to give a little bit of effect uh, while we are doing some today the video is all about a 1018 millimeter canon lens um, efs aperture is um, a very very bad people might uh, you know like not like the aperture because the aperture is not that wide open um the thing is that I shot this three minutes and you're going to notice this very carefully. I'm going to present my thoughts right now. You're going to watch the video. You're going to write in comment section what you think about the quality of the lens. And in 2020, is it worth it or not? In my opinion, yes, yes, yes. It is worth that price that you're paying for $279. Now, why is it so? Because the next step up from that price is going to be a Tokina 1118. But the problem with Tokina is that Tokina is not sharp along the edges. The Tokina lens is going to suffer a little bit of chromatic aberrations on the side. Today's video, if you're thinking, uh, what is it shot by? If I have my Blackmagic Pocket, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K out here, it is getting shot by a DJI Osmo Pocket. The audio is from directly from DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, back coming back to the lens again um, it's a very very fast lens uh, the motors are super silent I did not shoot with the manual focus it was shot with autofocus and aperture was set to 5 with my ISO on my old Canon 80D in my ISO was uh, 3200 but uh, amazing performance by Canon uh, in that sort of ISO I did not notice any grain uh, yes there was a little bit of color correction that I had to do but a very tiny little bit few of the fill-in shots um, for this three minute project is taken from uh, you know like variety of royalty free kind of uh, you know videos and uh, the main shot is shot handheld uh, and I think you know like handheld if you masterize the handheld you know putting on gimbals is not a big deal so let's quickly dive in and check this out really quick and uh, let me know in comments what you think because this is very important because sometimes we reviewers whenever we do reviews or anything on the lens we totally forget to ask everybody's opinion so let me know down in comments below and let the three minute shot begin To be very honest, they're playing really good, and I and I do not know how to play basketball. Uh, to be very honest, 
I'm from a separate part of the world. I know it's a crime. I should know how to play a little bit of it, uh, but they are actually playing really good. Uh, why am I stopping this video anyways? Let's rest. What will the pros say? Well, the pros will totally say that this is not a good lens because you will see again uh, the amount of lens reflection and the way the lens reflection is happening. Um, that's the reason it does not become very useful for any sort of professional work, uh, to be very honest, like if you're doing wedding or small filmmaking or anything. Uh, but apart from that, I am pretty sure that this is pretty much holding up right now. So let's go back to the video again. <music> Alrighty, so you guys saw the three minutes very carefully let me know in comment section below what all you saw before you press the subscribe button let me share you one thing that this is not a niche channel so if you like this presentation again give a big thumbs up like and subscribe and see you guys on another episode uh, where we are going to talk about the newest launch from auto evo and uh, when we met them at uh, um, CES 2020 we did an interview you already saw that but the product has launched what did they finally launch and what is the price so stay tuned